Hi, this is Betsy from Cotton Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. Today we have a fun tutorial for you. We're going to go over how to put heat transfer onto a soccer ball and also how to apply your sticker vinyl onto textured surfaces such as ice chest or water bottle. Okay, so as you can see, I have just a plain old Wilson soccer ball from Walmart. So first thing we're going to do, because we're going to do our heat transfer vinyl first, is I'm going to take a paper towel and denatured alcohol because as you can see, the soccer ball is absolutely disgusting. So we're going to take and spray it down with some denatured alcohol and wipe away the excess dirt. Look how gross that is. So there we go. So I've got that area clean on where we're going to stick our heat transfer. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I did I weeded my sticker vinyl so that way it didn't take so much time. But this is the Caesar Easy Weed in the Cyan and I'm going to take and weed Cameron's name. So we'll go ahead and do this which takes absolutely no time at all. handy dandy weed tool. As you can tell, mine's disgusting because I use it all of the time, which you can find on our website as well as the vinyl. But if you don't want to purchase it from us, you do not have to. So now, I'm going to take and lay Cameron's name on the ball. Somewhat centered, somewhat not. Um, it's kind of one of those things. And what I'm doing right now is just going back over to make sure everything is nice and adhered. There we go. So now as you can see, Cameron's name is now on his soccer ball. It's in nice on all those little grooves and it will last and it looks better than just taking and writing it on there with a permanent marker. So there we go. So now what we're going to do is we can take and turn off my iron and move that out of the way is we've got Cameron's water bottle. Again, I'm going to take paper towel and denatured alcohol and we're going to take and clean the outside of it really well. Now everybody knows that when you're applying vinyl to a smooth surface, it is easy. When you're applying it to a textured surface, it is a little bit harder. So what I did is I went ahead and pre-weeded my design, which I'm getting super fancy. I'm doing a three color design. I have Oracle white and black, and then the, what color is that? I have to look it up and I'll try to leave a link in the notes in the description down below. And Cameron loved the design I did for my car, so he wanted me to make the same thing for his water bottle. So now what I'm doing is this is application fluid, and we're going to use that to be able to install his decal on his water bottle with the wet method. And I made this decal six inches. And part of the reason why I'm using the wet method is it is helps to keep out bubbles and when you're doing layers it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So we'll go ahead and Remove the application tape. And I'm also going to show you a trick once we get all three layers adhered so that way you can kind of see how we take and make sure everything stays down. So there we go. Now I'm going to use my same application tape again because you can reuse it. So this is the same one I just used on the black layer. And I'm going to take and lay it over my white layer. Of 
And we're going to take and place this on our black layer. So we're gonna take again and spray it from the back side. As you can see on the sticky side of the vinyl with the application fluid. And I'm going to just take and squeegee that on as well. As you can see, we have both the black layer and the white layer on here. We're gonna go ahead and just take our paper towel and dry off just a tiny bit of the liquid so that way we can see what we're doing when we go to put his name on now. So there we go. So now I'm gonna take in his name again Use the same piece of transfer tape. And as I said, you can reuse this stuff. There's no reason not to, so that way you can save yourself a little bit of money. Um, so there we go. Now I'm going to take again and spray the back side with application fluid and we're going to start right here with Cameron's name. We'll go ahead and squeegee that down. So as you can see, there's Cameron's name on his water bottle. So I'm gonna take the paper towel and I'm going to dry this down. And then I'm going to take my hair dryer. And this is how we make sure it's nice and adhered by adding heat and using the felt side of the squeegee. So what we're gonna do is take and put it on high and hot. And just squeegee and make sure all of the air bubbles are out.
so there we go. So when you apply heat like that, it makes sure that your vinyl adheres to all of those little seams. And when you use a felt squeegee, as you can see, it doesn't scratch up your vinyl. So there we go. So, as you can see, if you look at this close up, you can see the texture of the water bottle, especially when you hold it in the light through. So you know it's good and adhered to this water bottle. So that's why you take and use the heat. And the felt side of the squeegee makes it where you can take, and if there's any little air bubbles, see how I'm pushing out the air and the liquid underneath? You can push it out without taking and scratching your vinyl because if you use the hard edge, sometimes it can take and mess that up. And if you have any additional little air bubbles, this is another reason why I love this handy dandy weed tool, is you can take just this little bit of the tip where it's sharp and take There we go. And see so you can push out and then there are no more air bubbles. And you can tell that it goes away and you can't tell that it was ever there anymore. So there you go. Now everything's nice and adhered. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Remember, we are going to be doing our scrap box drawing on July the 5th this month. So if you take and subscribe on YouTube, that's one entry. If you like and share Facebook, that's another. If you take and uh, follow us on our Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter, that's another entry. And any purchases made in store or online are entries as well. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Remember, sharing is caring. Thanks, and y'all have a great day.